our next part, our next station of entertainment is Warm Up. Remember guys that this is our stage just after ice cream. You are not going to have a, a exactly point when you break stages. They're going to overlap. Right? And this means that ice break, warm up is going to overlap on icebreaker, party is going to overlap on warm up, and climax is going to overlap on party. But you're going to know what's going on because you're going to feel, you guys are able to feel the party too. So we'll, you, you will know what it's all about. All right, guys, the warm up, remember you already been in the icebreak. You know the people in your table, you know what they want, you already did sometimes probably the order, they, they got the drinks already, or they're waiting for foods and drinks. That's an important moment when you do the order, and the moment between you wait for the order and they get it, is when we do the entertainment. Because we want to make, we want to reduce the feeling of waiting to that, or with that. You know what I mean? So this means in practice, it's like, let's see, you get to the table, you get your order. Oh, I want to get you, I want, I don't know, I want to go by leave it away. Then you take the order, you go to send the order to the bar. Once you don't, you don't stand up waiting in the bar, looking, waiting for your drink. No. Probably you're going to have other table or you come back to the table and then that is when you started to meet them, to do jokes, to do the tricks, to do the games. All right, this is important. We do the entertainment is what you guys do between our job. You cannot forget your job. But the entertainment is part of it, so don't lose it to it. In the warm-up, you already know your people, you already know who's in the table, you know if you got family, if you got singles. By that stage, you need to know who's with you. Who's in your tables, couples, again, families, friends, whomever is sitting in these tables, you should know what they like. This part of the night is going to be awesome for you because in this part, you step back a little bit, the DJ and the MC do more their job, but you just there for the people in your table. Remember, we help you guys, the entertainments that help you guys to get more tips. So, we don't want your tips, we don't need your money, but we want you to make sure that you use the tools, that you don't miss it anything. Because believe me, this is gonna get you a lot of money. Also, in the warm up, we perform more things as a group instead of in our tables. We got started to work more as a team. How? Well, we got different tools. Our first tool of warm up stage it is staff introduction. How this happened? I'm gonna give you a briefly idea of it, but then I'm gonna show it to you how to do it. The MC is gonna call every one of the staff, alright? And then we're gonna be standing up or hiding in an area of the restaurant. We're gonna play the song um, I Have a Tiger, and then the MC is gonna started to call every member of the staff by their name and we make jokes about it but you know it's gonna be like a like a like a fight announcement you know so every fighter is gonna come out like you know doing the fighting thing and moving and exercising that's that's what we're gonna do that's how we do it. that's one of it we got a different types of staff presentation we got that one we got star wars we got many ones but the main one is an eye of the tiger in staff introduction Stop dancers. This is the part that we go, we grow as a team. Why? Because we perform together a dance or a choreography on stage. So the MC is gonna call all our members of the staff up on the stage. And once we are up on the stage, we start a dance together. Sometimes people is gonna enjoy us, sometimes people is just gonna watch us. The important things in this step is we have fun. Contest in the warm-up stage. Again, no one of the tools is important or less important than another one, but this is the way how we do contests in the warm-up. The contests are performed by the MC. Sometimes we do it on the table, sometimes we do it on stage, sometimes we do it, we do it on the bar. It's going to depend on how the location is going to look and, you know, people is sitting in. It's going to depend on that. What our staff should do in the contest? It's pretty simple. 
you don't need to participate. But by this point, if you did again, if you did well the icebreaker, by this point, you know who's the party people in your table. You know if somebody's celebrating something. So what you're gonna do in this point is when the MC calls, I need one, I need, I don't know, I need, I need three people on stage for a contest. Well, that's when you're gonna pick your boy on your table and you're gonna, come on man, this is for you. And you make them step up and you take them up on the stage. Sometimes they're gonna make it because the contest is for, for many people. Sometimes you're for three or four, but you know, that's the interaction we wanna create. This is another type of dances or choreographies. We perform this standing up on a chair. A dance is made it for dancing for over like upper bodies. It's like more things with hands, clapping and moving side to side and not moving too much the feet because we don't want the people to fall off the chairs. But what we do in this time, you're gonna practice it anyway, but when the people call for the everybody to stand up on the chair, what we do it is all the staff stand up on the chairs and makes everybody this, this is the stuff that we use to stand up everybody on chair. So everybody stand up, all the staff stand up, read your tables, it's close to your table, and you invite them to stand up. The MC do the rest. Warm-up sketches. What we do in warm-up sketches, we got different costumes, different happenings that are performed by the staff and the MC. Sometimes, for example, we got the famous Jose Cuervo that you're gonna see what it is. The MC call all of our staff to some place in the restaurant we're gonna pre-select for or after this video. So you're gonna know in the train what I'm talking about. After the MC calls all the staff on the microphone to that area, all the staff shows there we made a line and at the end of the line, at the back of the line is gonna be the person in the costume, in the Jose Cuervo costume. So then the MC announced the Jose Cuervo and all of us go jumping with our bandana in our hands, jumping going towards the stage. We go up on the stage, all of us, with the Jose Cuervo also. And once the Jose Cuervo is on stage, we go back to our tables and the, the Jose Cuervo perform what he got to do. He get off of the stage and go to the tables, he shot. But our job as a team is just take him up on stage and then get off of the stage and continue the party going. Sketches.